Tom Hartman program. And welcome back, Mark in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today? Hey, Tom, it's Mark Taylor Canfield. I want to wish you and your family a happy holiday season. And well, thanks thank for you. continuing to speak power, you know, truth to power. You know, voices like yours are really, really important today. We may be headed towards a 1930s style fascist takeover in this country, and it's really frightening. But I wanted to call and let you know, um, as executive director for Democracy Watch News, we've been following what's happening to journalists in Gaza. Oh, this is terrible. To Jody it's like over 40 of them now have been killed. Well, according to Jody Ginsburg, president of the Committee to Protect Journalists, the Israeli-Gaza war is the most dangerous conflict since the International Advocacy Group for Reporters started keeping records over 30 years ago. Yeah. So the committee is joined with over 200 other groups calling for a ceasefire, and I have an article over at David Coase about that. Uh -huh. But as of today, Tom, 64 journalists and media workers are confirmed dead. 64, 57 wow. 57 Palestinian 57 Palestinian, four Israeli, and three Lebanese reporters. 13 journalists are reported injured. Three journalists are missing. And 19 journalists have been arrested. And this also doesn't include multiple assaults, threats, cyber attacks, censorship, and killings of journalists and their family members. Yeah. And according to the Israeli Defense Forces, they told Reuters and Agence France Press, news agencies, that they could not guarantee the safety of journalists operating in the Gaza Strip. After they sought assurances, the CPJ and other groups sought assurances, assurances that the journalists wouldn't be targeted. Yeah. Uh, they were told they couldn't guarantee that. Well, if a hostage and can't be safe, what, what makes you think a journalist is going to be safe? I mean, these three hostages, you know, wrote help and SOS, you know, with food on a blanket. They they were carrying a white uh, a white flag. They were stripped themselves naked to the waist to show that they weren't carrying weapons. They were hostages and they were still killed by sharpshooters from the IDF. Israeli yeah, and according, to, according to international law, journalists are civilians who must be respected and protected by all warring parties, and that deliberately targeting journalists or media infrastructure constitutes a war crime. Yeah, I wanted to let you know too. The Seattle City Council passed a resolution, which I testified in favor of, um, calling for an immediate uh, ceasefire and a permanent ceasefire. That was uh, introduced by our Socialist City Council member Shama Swant who actually is retiring from the council this year to work with the group Workers Strike Back. And they're going to be helping Amazon, Starbucks, and other workers organize labor unions. Cool. But yeah, other city councils across the U.S. have since passed ceasefire resolutions, including Atlanta, Oakland, Providence, Rhode Island, and then in Los Angeles, 18 elected officials uh, in that region presented an open letter to President Biden and Secretary Blinken calling for a permanent ceasefire in Gaza, the safe return of all those who've been taken captive, and then into the collective punishment of Palestinians. Yeah. So it, these resolutions are pretty balanced. They're calling, you know, on both sides to, to do the right thing. And I, I think it's uh, one of those stories that has legs, as we say in journalism. It's going to continue to spread across the country as more and more communities pass these resolutions and call for, you know, human rights. That's what this is all about, really, when it comes down to it. But human rights for journalists as well. I mean, journalists, it's a very, very dangerous job these days to be a journalist in a lot of countries around the world. Yep. And unfortunately, in our country, we're now r ranked 45th in the world in terms of press freedom by reporters without borders. So we got to do a lot of work here. Yeah. Amen. Our own country. Amen. I, you know, and I, I, you know, I know journalists in the United States, in many cases, get death threats if they just report on what's going on with Trump and, and his buddies. Mark, thank you for the, for the information. Mark Taylor Canfield. We'll be right back. It's 22 minutes past the hour. Change starts with you. You can be calling your Democratic or Republican representatives to let them know what you think by calling 202-224-3121. It's the Capitol switchboard. It'll get you right through to them. 